Servants of the Imperium, loyal subjects of the Emperor, believers in unity, he began. His voice resonated with something drawn from beyond mundane human existence, sending shivers up Thuria's spine. We come at last to the striking of the final hour. The War Master encircles the throne world. During the first thousandth dish day, at one minute past midnight by the old reckoning, his bombardment began. They knew this. They had heard the shells. Those making their way to and from the strategium for their duty shifts had seen them lighting up the void shields. They all felt the explosions shaking the world. They all suffered the crawling sensation in their brains from the active warp tech of the Aegis void shields. Another man, even another Primarch, might have made a humorous aside to this effect. How obvious his statement was. Drollery was not a characteristic that factored large in Lord Dawn's makeup. He raised his voice. We have planned for this moment. We have striven to anticipate the traitor's plans. We now stand upon the brink of annihilation. But do not despair. We do not seek to overthrow Horus' armies. We must only endure. Let the defense of Terra be the cliffs Horus breaks himself upon. Let him fritter away his power, seeking our end. And then, when he is exhausted and drained, and his strength bled away, shall the revenging blow fall and wipe his fervidity from the stars. Once more, he swept his eyes across the control pits. Not all of you will survive to see that day, but know this. We stand as a race upon the precipice of extinction. It may seem that in the equation deciding the survival of our species, your lives do not amount to much. But your efforts, though they may seem small to you, are vital, one and all. I call upon you now, in the Emperor's hour of need, to put away your terror, to seal up your dread, and exert every fiber of your being towards our inevitable victory. I am a Primarch, made by the Emperor's own hand, and yet it is for you, and you alone, the men and women of the human race, that all this undertaking was begun. Ours is not an Imperium of gods and monsters, as Horus would impose, but a state of unity to shelter and protect our species from all the evils of this universe and beyond. Do not think of yourselves as the bombs fall. Think not of your survival as the enemy comes. Think instead of the continuance, of persistence, of the endurance of mankind. Thuria had never heard a voice so pure or so terrifying. Keep in mind the coming generations of humanity. Keep in mind the peace that will follow. Hold yourselves true to your purpose, to your duty to your emperor. And we shall be triumphant! There followed a moment of silence in which no human sound was heard, only the workings of machines. Then, first, one pair of hands began to applaud, then another and another, until every man, woman, and transhuman in the strategium was clapping and shouting. Jubilation overcame fear, and for a brief moment, Thuria saw what victory might feel like.